Herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge. Down Red Redemption 2. Mal kurz hier wieder nach Van Horn runter oder Van Horn runter geritten. Hier war ja auch noch eine fremde Mission oder eine fremde Person. Schauen mal, wie fremd die Mission dann wird. The two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with weapon that's not nose running to shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Would Bertram like a sherry? Bertram like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep, Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Everything okay? Uh, imagine saving people, Girl, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little no, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. No. Oh, fuck it, he... No, no Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man down! Do something! You only eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh. Bad, Bertram. Easy, boy. There's no putting this off. Uh. Give him away. Uh. Bad, Bertram. Jetzt block doch diese Steuerung. Geht doch. Komm hier, Bertram. Oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But... <laughs> He's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram, like sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. 
If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Hm, okay. <lacht> so, das wäre dann mal Teil 1. Die sind vom Zirkus, okay. Na ja. ja, gut, ich kann mir wurschen, was ihr. Äh, dann darstellt. Gut, da unten geht es direkt schon weiter. Da also haben wir schon die. Das sind auch da unten. Okay, dann reiten wir da direkt mal hin. Wir machen weiter. Guten Tag. Schauen wir uns mal diesen Magnifico an. Mhm. Überall legendäre Fische. Ah ja, wie gesagt, mit dem Angeln. Gut, nachher ging es halt was besser, wenn ich mir mal die Einblenden noch mal genauer durchgeschaut habe. Ähm, aber ja. Angeln ist nicht so meins, in keinem der Spiele. In echt habe ich es noch nie gemacht, von daher kann ich das nicht beurteilen. Ja, mit Leute kann man, glaube ich, hier eigentlich ziemlich gut durchreiten. Das passt ja soweit. Nicht allzu viel, was uns hier großartig aufhalten könnte. Okay, bitte schön. Was mit der Kutsche war, weiß ich aber auch nicht genau. Schauen wir mal. Etliche Vögel. Okay, da war ein Feuer. Ah ja. Oh, das ist amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, oh. Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. No. Stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. Okay. Na dann. Frau, was mit Pferd schneller machen könnten. Oh. 
Was für ein Tier? Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. <lacht> Okay. Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so long, God damn it. dummy. Where are you? You little. <laughs> really? Yeah, come. Really? Ah, too bad oh. Oops, yeah. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you uh, are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. <laughs> We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? <laughs> Na gut, haben wir das erledigt? Sehr schön. Ähm, dann können wir das jetzt zum Abschluss noch mal runtergehen. Da oh, sind beide Pferde da. Weißt du was, wir reiten mal mit dir jetzt nach Saint-Denis. Dann könnte ich dann da auch verkaufen. Hast jetzt davon. Ähm, apropos... Du, 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 da ist saint -Denis. Ja gut, ihr werdet wahrscheinlich... Ist auch glaube ich nichts mehr unterwegs, wo wir dann schnell reisen könnten. Ne. Ähm, wir haben ja zwei Theater tatsächlich. Ich schätze mal, die könnte es sein. 
<lacht> Zauberei. Neueste Film. Okay. Das dürfte es dann sein. Okay, schauen wir mal. Ja, aber die geht halt schon deutlich schnell, die Puste aus. Ist nicht schlecht, aber wie gesagt, unsere ist halt bei weitem besser. Da wird ein Hase rumsitzen, oder? Hm, ihr macht es aber auch gemütlich, bis ich euch da mal verscheuchte, äh, verscheuchen kann. Hallo Großstadt. Hm, da hat eine Kuh verschwunden. Einfach die spawnt. So, gut, 21 Uhr ist wahrscheinlich jetzt auch keine Aufführung mehr. Aber hier geht es dann mit den Aufträgen wieder weiter. Gut zu wissen. Da war ich leider nicht schnell genug. Obwohl, noch scheinen die Dinge hier oft zu sein. Das Theater dann auch? Ja, scheint so. Okay, cool. Dann schauen wir doch mal, was das für eine Aufführung wird. Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <lacht> All right. Ja, gerne. Wohl, Haupteingang ist da, wie es scheint. Ich lasse mich mal zu euch, ne? Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, 
I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. Go on. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Miss Marjorie's medical miracle, Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't I even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in brawn. <laughs> Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. You, sir, would you assist? Me? No, yeah. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 You look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Uh, come, on, come on, do it, do it. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Hey, sometimes he gets carried away. Bring out more freaks. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me. No, 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 And I have tamed the beast. Drop him! Hey, ha -ha. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of. <laughs> Transfiguration! <laughs> what the hell is I that? have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. This You doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! You amateurs! Go follow your brother! Well, that's our show! Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me. I discovered this next act 
in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my God. Come on. Oh my God. Sweet What's Jesus. going on here? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah! Dude. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm huh. trying to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? Is no one man enough? Damn, this is some. Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. Right. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? 
Take aim. And fire. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. Yes! Woo! Truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire, yes! She does! And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Oh, wonderful. Oh, incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that, Joe. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah. This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning, you will hear me yell. He sent you'll fix me up along the line. He connects me with my honey, and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. from Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from What a fine tune. She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. Mate. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon.
So, sehr schön. Könnt ihr auch mal meine Folgen so beenden. Ich hoffe, es hat euch ein wenig Unterhaltung geboten. Dieser Spirale des absoluten Elends, in dem wir gerade leben. Hm. Aber ja, ich glaube, das macht man dann tatsächlich auch gleich mal. Dann, ähm... Erst mal noch das Geld abholen, wenn überhaupt. Dankeschön. Okay, 40 und noch ein Brief. Ähm, das ist eine herrliche Überraschung. Ja, so lieb von Ihnen hierher zu kommen, die Vorstellung anzusehen. Gottes Segen. Ähm, ja. Waren sehr aufgeregt. Okay. Dankeschön. Muss doch nicht. Ja, die Leute, die da waren, also wahrscheinlich, äh, die aus dem Publikum sind ja meistens die Leute, die eingeweiht sind, die ja mit eingreifen. Wird dann auch entsprechend Platzpatronen geschossen. Aber ja. Das soll es gewesen sein für die Folge. Und ähm, ja, sehen wir uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß, seid nächstes Mal wieder mit dabei. Und bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao. So, noch ein paar Violetten gedreht. Gut. Alles klar, nächstes Ziel ist das Pferdehaus und dann gucken wir, was hier noch an als Auftrag war. Bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.